to the Daegu Middle High School virtual commencement exercise for the graduating class of 2020. I would like to introduce Sejong Jordan, senior class co-president. Sejong. Hello students, graduates, faculty, family and friends. We are gathered here today to celebrate and validate the graduation ceremony of the class of 2020. I am Sejong Jordan, one of the senior class presidents, and I am honored to have the opportunity to speak today. First of all, on behalf of the entire Daegu class of 2020, I would like to welcome you to the virtual graduation ceremony for the class of 2020 at Daegu Middle High School. I would also like to thank all parents, family, and friends for their love and constant support, as well to the members of Daegu Middle High School faculty and staff for their guidance and patience. We truly owe you for all that we are. This year has been interesting. It saddens us that not everyone can make it to the current events of our times, but it should not stop what is a joyful time for our class of seniors. High school has been an unforgettable journey that has prepared us for the future, whatever it may be. These past four years have involved some of the most memorable and influential moments of our lives. Individually, our experiences here are unique, but together we share a common goal, bond, as a member of the class of 2020 and soon to be graduates of Dick Little High School. I am filled with excitement and anticipation as the next stage in our life is about to begin with the support of our parents, family, and our teachers. We may not have made it to this day. They have been there for us since the beginning, guiding us, helping us, and watching us grow. They have witnessed us mature into responsible young adults. At this time, I am honored to welcome Layla Donald, the Student Council President of Daegu Middle High School. Thank you, Sejong. And hello, students, graduates, faculty, family, and friends. I am Layla Donald, the Daegu Middle High School's first black student council president. And can I just say, standing here seems like such a dream. Almost three months ago, we were all thinking graduation was not going to happen. But look at us. We can say that the class of 2020 actually made it. As student council president, I have seen this class grow into something I would have never imagined. I remember when I was in pre-algebra with Daniel and William almost six years ago, and time really flies. And now Daniel and I are going to the same college, Sikkim. And before you know it, William may be getting nominated for a Grammy. I know parents, you are so exceptionally proud of your future US airmen, sailors, and army soldiers. And who knows, maybe we will meet some Marines in the future. So proud of your future criminologists, video game designers, medical professionals, hotel CEOs, film and music producers, state officials, and the list just goes on and on. I know many of us are ready to leave high school and to leave Korea, but I know we will all miss Daegu Middle High School. We have had a lot of good times this class, and I bet you guys were prepared for our senior skip day. Well, actually, it is. It's crazy to think this will be the last time we will all be together until Sejong and Kamala throw an amazing 10-year reunion. I won't forget Sophia, the first high school female wrestler I've ever met, and a great one at that. Or Nikolai, a man who can play almost every sport, but still decided not to play tennis this year. Katrina for being such a wonderful vice president. Yeji, Mina, and Isaac, I can still hear their high-ranking Roxy medals clinking in the hallway. And Melvin, we all know him as Charlie. We definitely won't forget him blasting music down the hallway. Juliana, JC, and Jeremy for creating such wonderful art pieces. Catherine with all her wonderful hair colors. Crystal for always putting a smile on our faces. Kenneth, who I can say has made the best senior cap I've ever seen. And the twins, Nathan and Niall, for always making our class laugh. Can you believe that four years ago we were freshmen, the fishies, the youngins, but now we are seniors. And the last thing they have of us is our handprints. And of course, all the championships Charlie has won for wrestling. And we can't forget we have a reigning D2 softball champion amongst us, Nia and all her glory. The class of 2020 will be leaving behind a legacy, a legacy of excellence, perseverance, and hard work. And we may be leaving behind a mask and some hand sanitizer. All of the hours of studying, practices, and so much more have paid off. And thank you, of course, to our teachers, coaches, and parents who have put up with us for all of these years. We know you'll miss us not paying attention in class and asking 
for the instructions at least five times after they've been said the first time. Probably sleeping through our alarms more times than we can count, or sleeping in class, or coming in late after going off campus, or actually I won't give away all of our secrets. But in all seriousness, the staff at Piggy Meadow High School, we could not have done it without you. And parents, we thank you for all the continuous support you have given us and prepared us for reaching such an amazing milestone in our lives. Now it is time for us to go on and do bigger and better things. Madison is going to be the best nurse this world has ever seen. Abby, a wonderful teacher. Tyra and Kunshabi are going to be the world's next Jeff Bezos. Josh, an amazing psychologist. Kamala, a remarkable pediatrician. And Sejong, don't forget to mention me in your speech when you win an Oscar. Danielle, all the time and effort she has spent in Roxy, a future five-star fleet admiral on our hands. And Sunny, when you are a famous Holto CEO, I would expect your family and friends to see. I know most of us are probably thinking this day wasn't going to happen, but for many kids our age all over the world, this day wasn't even possible. But to the Dayton Middle High School class of 2020, thank you for being the best class, for jumping over all the hurdles that have been put in front of you. We did it, we did it, we did it. Congratulations to us all, Warriors for Life. Hello, I'd like to introduce our class salutatorian, A.G. Lee. She has attended the MHS from 2018 to 2020. Yeji has completed 11 AP courses throughout her high school career. She and her family are from Nagu, South Korea, and before moving back to Nagu, she has lived in Baltimore, Germany, and Fort Campbell, Kentucky. Yeji serves as the battalion commander of Daegu Middle High School JROTC Warrior Battalion and is captain of JROTC Drill Team. She has been engaged in Army JROTC all four years of her high school. She is an active member of the National Honor Society, Science National Honor Society, Color Guard, and Honor Guard. She was also the Secretary and Treasurer of NHS, Vice President and Treasurer of the Student Council, and Secretary of the Future Educators Association. She has also participated in Model United Nations, Student Council, Red Cross Youth, Spanish Club, Fellowship of Christian Athletes, and the Future Educators Association. She was recognized as a National Merit Scholarship semifinalist and delegate of the National Academy of Future Physicians and Medical Scientists. She was nominated for the University of Southern California College Immersion Program and attended the Tennessee Governor's School for Computational Physics at Austin P. University. Yeji plans to take a gap year spend the time traveling and engage in volunteer work. Her ultimate goal is to become a dentist. Now, please welcome Yeji Lee, class salutatorian. Good afternoon, honored guests, parents, guardians, administration, teachers, and especially the class of 2020. On behalf of the senior class, I would like to extend my gratitude to everyone who has shared precious moments with us as we conclude their journey. Shaking the 
So I want to work with it. I want to get good grades, and I want to take care of you. Kamala comes from a big family of six. Her parents, Robert 
over 30 years. Kamala looks forward to the next chapter of her life. She will be attending Calvary University in the fall. As Kamala prepares to graduate from high school, it is her intent to continue being a part of and serving military communities around the world. Upon graduation from university, she wishes to attend medical school and then earn a commission in the U.S. Air Force as a pediatric doctor. It is Kamala's belief that her qualities of scholarship, leadership, service, and character
We survived four years of high school. We survived countless hours of cramming for exams and 20 pages of long form of awards. And to end it all, we have survived COVID-19 to hold this final celebration in that day in our high school. As we reach the end of our high school journey, we are soon to begin our first, sometimes faltering steps into the world. New graduates may take the form of further education and first time out women are serving our country in the military. With newly found independence and leaving school and leaving our home, also come with the prospect of more responsibilities and more challenges. In spite of this, there are endless possibilities of what we choose to make of our lives. Whatever path we choose, life will always present opportunities that require resilience, daring, and a lifetime commitment to learning and grow. In closing, we are future teachers, we are future partners, and we are future leaders. When we embrace the future as teachers, we will pass on our knowledge, our wisdom, and our values in our workplaces, in our communities, and of course, in our own homes. When we embrace the future as pioneers, we dream of how we might shape our world to be and hold as self evident the true commitment required to pave the way for those who follow in our footsteps. When you embrace the future as leaders, we lead a life embracing our own potential while empowering and advancing the lives of the world around us. Thank you. Good evening, parents and students. It's my pleasure to introduce Dr. Jeff Harrington, the Pacific West District Superintendent. Dr. Jeff Harrington is in his first year as a Judea Pacific West District Superintendent. Most recently, Dr. Harrington served for 40 years as a Pacific West Community Superintendent. His previous assignments were five years as the district's assistant superintendent and was in Judea Pacific Long District. Dr. Harrington's leadership assignments has led a long journey across the Pacific, where he served as a Dodea administrator starting in Guam, then Okinawa, mainland Japan, back to Guam, and then on the river. He was promoted to assistant principal of Guam High School in 2000, and then principal of Western Cliffs Middle School on Okinawa, Japan in 2002. From there, Dr. Harrington joined me. Katina High School also in Okinawa as the principal in 2005 before moving on in 2008 to serve as principal at Edgar High School and then promoted to assistant superintendent for all in 2010. Dr. Harrington's educational career began in 1994 in Arkansas where his assignments included teaching and administration. He has a bachelor's degree in accounting from the University of Arkansas. He returned to the University of Arkansas to earn a master's in educational administration in 1996 and an educational specialist degree in 1998. He completed his doctorate of education in educational administration from the University of Nebraska in 2000 and then 14. Dr. Harrington's guiding philosophy is it's all about ice to achieve and making a better decision Hello, my name is Jeff Arrington, Superintendent of the Pacific West District. I want to take a second to say, Class of 2020, congratulations, you've made it. This is a remarkable time both in your life and the world around us, but I think it's important for you to know that you are our future, and I believe that our future is in good hands. Again, congratulations, Class of 2020. Go Warriors! Good afternoon, everyone. It is my honor to introduce tonight's commencement speaker, USAG Daegu Command Sergeant Major Alan J. Klein. Command Sergeant Major Alan J. Klein hails from Asheville, Ohio. His military career began at Fort Knox, Kentucky on the 27th of December, 1994, where he attended basic combat training. He then attended advanced individual training at Fort Jackson, South Carolina as a personnel management specialist. CSM's clients' previous assignments have taken him around the world. CSM clients' military training includes all the non-commissioned leader courses to include the Sergeant Majors Academy. CSM client holds a bachelor's degree in human resources from the University of Maryland, University College, and a master's degree in business management from Grantham University. CSM Klein's motto is positive people produce positive results, and better today than yesterday. CSM Klein is blessed to be married to his better half and has
as a boy facing children. His charismatic son, Jordan, who is attending Georgia State University, the leader of the set, Taylor the athlete, and Caden the boss. Now please welcome the esteemed USC G. David Command Sergeant Major, Alan J. Collins. I would like to thank Dr. Arrington, General Simmerly, and Colonel Blanco for attending today's ceremony, and especially the Senior Class 2020 for asking me to be the guest speaker. This is a great honor, and I hope to leave you with something that will make you smile and remember. What a year the senior class has went through. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> Believe it or not, I have not been asked to give many military speeches in my 25 years. However, this is about my ninth graduation when you count my Head Start and kindergarten speeches. Those were rough. My mother is going to be so proud of me. I have finally fulfilled her dream she had for me when I was a little kid. She said, AJ, when you grow up, you're going to be valedictorian, a famous doctor, with your face all over the place. Well, mother, it didn't quite work out as you planned, but my handwriting is extremely poor. I'm giving a speech at a high school graduation, and my picture is almost in every facility in this community. I would like to say a big thank you to all the teachers out there. Within two days of shutting down the school because of COVID-19, you started quality online schooling for our kids. And it only continued to get better as we went along. Cause you're amazing, just the way you are. A big thank you to Principal Gray and Miss Emery, doing everything you could for providing our seniors as much of a normal finish to our senior year. Also like to thank the parents of these seniors. I know it's not always easy, trust me. Those that know me will tell you I go through the day trying to make you laugh and smile. Regardless of the situation, it's just what I do. The very few that truly know me will tell you I am kind, have fun, and produce winners. For the rest of you, a little bit about myself. I grew up in a small town, very modest upbringing, very small circle of friends. My biggest fans were my family and still are today. Anything I did, they encouraged me and told me how great I was. In second grade, I played the little boy in South Pacific, and I remember Bloody Mary singing the song, If you don't have a dream, how you gonna have a dream come true? Common sense, right? I dreamed my whole life, and those dreams manifested into goals each year. And, I, I, and each year, I'd write down these goals and looked at these goals each day. See, I've never been the most talented, the most intelligent, the most physically gifted. However, I work harder than anyone to keep up, and I've always placed others' needs above my own. Trust me when I tell you, it just works out. I saw a graduation speech from several years ago from a talented young man as I was preparing for my speech for you. It's called the ABCs of life. I hope that I can provide some keys to success measured by happiness with half the energy in a very similar way. A, aspire to be great without stopping until you achieve greatness while assisting others along the way. B, build on the foundation that you created for the past 17, 18 years and remember to be better today than yesterday. C, care for one another because there is too much hate in this world and have the courage to make change when you see wrong. B, de-doers, which are the ones that do not have to be told what to do, they can just go out and do it. They are our dynamic leaders. Perform each task, prepare for each undertaking with E, enthusiasm. Encourage others to accomplish their dreams and goals. Celebrate them when they accomplish them. Value your F family and friends, which are celebrating you today, and have fun every day. My son Jordan says, everyone wants to be good. We are going to be G great. Do not be afraid to take guidance from anyone regardless of who they are. They may surprise you. H, happy so much of it that you might burst into song because I'm um, Clap along if you feel like a room without a roof. Cause I'm clap along if you feel like happiness is the truth. Cause I'm clap along if you know what happiness is to you. Cause I'm clap along if you feel like that's what you want to do. I, innovation. Always look for ways to improve systems, yourself, teams, organization. Aspire others to be great. Take I out of your vocabulary. J, just, one of my least favorite words. When you introduce yourself to someone, never say I am just a student, just a clerk, just a server. 
There is no one more valuable than another and no one irreplaceable in this world. You deserve joy in your life and do not let anyone steal your joy. You should strive to make each day more jubilant than the last. Could you imagine how wonderful your life would be? Be kind all the time. You'd be surprised how a single gesture would make a difference in someone's life at a critical time. L, laugh every day. Laugh until you come to tears, just as long as it's not at the expense of others. M, motivate others when they are down, tired, and cannot give no more. Be the leader that brings the best out of others. N, now, be the leader that brings the, uh, excuse me, N, now, tomorrow is not guaranteed. Live each day to the fullest like it is your last. Try something new and exciting every day because life should be thrilling and epic. You need to be O, open-minded to others' opinions and when faced with challenges, look at them as opportunities to make a difference. Be P, passionate in everything that you do. Life is so much more fulfilling when you care deeply. Have the blood type B, positive. Positive people produce positive results. I truly believe that. It's in my bio, and when it's in your bio, it's got to be true. Have your moments of cue, quiet, to listen, learn, and observe. But understand, you have a voice that has every right to be heard. Ensure you are reliable. That will be very rewarding in your social and professional life. S, smile. When times get rough, smile. When a friend is in need, smile. Feeling pressure, smile. Everyone feels more comfortable around a smiling face. Be T, thankful for what you have and the situation in which you are in. There are always others that have it worse. Trust should be the foundation of every relationship. Lead a you, unselfish life. When we're giving, it comes naturally. And understand that everyone comes from different backgrounds and circumstances and uplift each other instead of putting each other down. We need more V, valiant and virtuous leaders in every position where change can be made. Never be afraid to ask W, why. That is the only way we can improve. Winning matters, just not at all costs. Enjoy your victories and defeats. If you're hungry and dedicated, it is your losses and failures in life that will make you grow the most to ultimately lead, lead you to success. Ensure there is X, excellence in everything that you do. X, excellence. Remember when I told you my story, I told you I was not the most intelligent, but I trust me when I tell you, it just works out. I know you're all ready to conquer the world. Every one of you are all grown up. Just ensure that you stay Y young at heart and never get too old to play kick the can. Ensure you have a Z, zest for life that each and every day you give it your best. When I can, the last thing I say to my kids before school or before a sporting event that they are participating in is make someone better today. When I coach you sports at the end of practice, I ask my team what they did that made someone better today. Every day you should ask yourself two questions. When you look into the mirror in the morning, what am I going to do to make a difference? At night, did I make a difference? Parents, I know you're excited that your kids have graduated. They're almost out of the house. Take it from me, I miss my big boy every day. Love them, hug them, cherish every moment you get to spend with them. Remember, one day we will be very old and hopefully they will take care of us. Seniors, I know this was not the year you expected, exactly planned for, but I will tell you it prepared you better than you realized. Do not be afraid to fail. All successful people have stumbled along the way. A mentor is someone that you can reach out to any time in life when you have questions or concerns. As you get older, you will, real, you, you will see that life is about connections. Reach out to me anytime. I wish you all the best. Make a difference. Make someone better today. Anna Sofia Aguirre Valdez. Journey Abigail Sistoso Bell. Bell. I am graduating the class of 2020. I plan on taking a gap year and pursuing my dream as an artist after this. Kenneth Donald Boyce Jr. Madison Ryan Burkowski. Hi mom, hi dad, hi John and Jenny. Thank you for always supporting me and being there for me when I really needed it. I want to thank my siblings, Mark, Morgan, Chase and Tanner, and Evelyn and Jordan. Nicole Jose Chamfaco. Hey, my fellow seniors. I just want to say we finally made it. Um, best of luck to you guys in the future, and I hope we see each other again. Monshabe Doman Coleman. I 
Melvin Myron Curley. Joshua Aaron De La Cruz. Hello. Thank you for coming to graduation. I would like to thank my mom and my dad for supporting me. Nathan Lane Dominguez. Hey mom, hey dad, I finally did it. Shout out to Eddie, he got me through tough times. <laughs> Nayo Jariel Dominguez. Layla Lessie Donawa. Finally graduating. Thank you so much, Mom and Dad, for being so wonderful and getting me through these four years of high school. I could not have done it without you. And sicko. <laughs> Catherine Naomi Johnson. Sejong Corin Jordan. Thanks, Mom and Dad, for everything you've done for me, and also uh, thank you, Audrey, for everything else. Isaac Stephen Cantor. Kamala Elise Kenny. If you're watching this, it means I did it. Thanks, Mom and Dad, for all your support and love throughout these last four years and for my whole life. I love you guys a lot. Bye. Crystal Yuri Lee. Yeji Lee. Class of 2020. Thanks, Mom and Dad, for everything. Hey, I love you. Antonia Brendane Sana Lizamo. Charles Paul Lyons. Danielle Bueno Manalo Kelker. Thank you to my family, friends, and the senior class of 2020 for making this school year memorable. JC Ray Miller. Daniel Luis Ortega. Hey. <laughs> Thank you guys. Katrina Vasquez. Tyra Imani Williams. Yo Sun Yang. Before I begin, I would like to recognize two students that have attended Daegu Middle High School for part of their high school career, but are graduating under virtual or homeschool requirements. William Hamilton and Abigail No, please stand. Abby, William, the staff, students, and the Area 4 community commend you on your efforts and wish you well on all future endeavors. Great job. Dr. Arrington, General Simmerly, Colonel Blanco, Command Sergeant Major Klein, distinguished guests, parents, staff, family, and friends. Thank you for spending this special time with the class of 2020. It is truly an honor to be the principal of Daegu Middle High School and serve the area for military community. Military members, thank you for your service and your commitment to our great country. I want to personally thank Command Sergeant Major Klein for his comments. We appreciate the time and effort you have shown for the students and staff at Diego Middle High School. Your support of the athletic programs and the seniors was and is outstanding. Thank you. I would also like to thank Dr. Ayrton and Ms. Alton for their commitment, vision, and leadership for the future of Pac West District. I know 2020 wasn't easy. Your efforts are appreciated and will be remembered. Thank you. To our parents, I can't imagine what you've gone through this year and your wishes for your children. Will they graduate? What will their first year of college look like? Or should I keep my son or daughter home for a year? You have raised wonderful children and they will make great adults and have a great future, no matter what decision you have made. 
I wish you all my best and thank you for your support during your time here in Daegu. You will be missed. I want to thank the staff for their hard work this year. We were the first American school to feel the COVID-19 impact, and in two days you were providing virtual services. You were up for the challenge, and we are all grateful. Go Warriors. For the class of 2020, I want to thank you for supporting your parents. I can only imagine the sacrifices many of you have made to your support your parents in service of this great country. Thank you. When I think of this class, I think of a class that is bright, articulate, resilient, and a group that has already faced a major life obstacle. Seniors, you have the right stuff to be successful. When I think about the right stuff, I think about astronauts, and space, and overcoming obstacles, and accepting all challenges. I'm gonna talk about space. We've spent the last three months dealing with space. Not outer space, but inner space. To be specific, six feet, 1.8 meters. On February 20th, 1962, John Glenn blasted off to circle the Earth three times in the Friendship 7 spacecraft. That capsule was six feet, 1.8 meters wide. It was just large enough for a single crew member. It's also the same as our social distancing guidelines. If you're at home in Korea or around the world, look around and see how you are spaced. Are you following the social distancing guidelines? They are the same size as John Glenn's capsule, the Friendship 7. We've had the same focus as John Glenn, not for three trips around the earth, but for three months. And seniors, maybe you've had a couple of stumbles, but you've always maintained the prize of graduation. You amaze me. Seniors, you have the right stuff to be successful, no matter what life throws at you. You can be the next Glenn, John Glenn, or whoever you aspire to be. I am very proud of the plans and the goals of the graduating class of 2020 have set for themselves. If their high school career is any indication of what they can accomplish, the ceiling has no limits. For the class of 2020, I wish you all my best. If you can't change the world, make an impact. When the class of 2020 exits these halls, they will scatter to all parts of the United States and the world. From Washington State to Washington, D.C., and Florida and Boston and all places in between. I don't know what their new normal will become, but they have the right stuff to make it special. For the class of 2020, don't look back. It's all there for your taking. Find a partner, a passion, have fun, make your mark. Yes, Sonny and Catherine, because you asked, I placed a $2 bill under your diploma as a challenge for the graduates. Yes, $2. I'm doubling down on the class of 2020. Each one of you has so much potential. By itself, $2 alone can accomplish much, but with some hard work, some friends, and some help, the possibilities are endless. That $2 bill could help find a cure for COVID-19, launch a million dollar empire, or feed you during hard times. Choose wisely the way you spend your money and your time. Come all up, please join me. On behalf of the Department of Defense Education Activity, and its director, Mr. Thomas Brady, the Department of Defense Education Activity Pacific, and its director, Ms. Lois Rapp, along with the PAC West District and its superintendent, Dr. Jeff Arrington. As principal, I certify that these seniors have met all requirements set forth for graduation, and by the authority vested in me by the Department of Defense Education Activity, I confer onto you the title as 2020 graduates of Daegu Middle High School. Ms. Kim. I offer my most sincere and sincere congratulations to each of you. It is my honor to reach this milestone for you. As a symbolic gesture for the completion of high school, graduates, you may now join your task. On behalf of Daily High School, I present to you the graduating class of 2020. We did it.